Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the planet Mercury, what's happening in the sky with this planet Mercury and all the other planets that are involved in this huge change that is going to happen in the month of July. So before we start, subscribe my channel and if you like the video, hit the like button and share with your friends and family. So uh, Mercury is going to be retrograde in the sign of cancer in the month of july it's gonna be in a retrograde motion it starts with the sign of cancer and it goes towards the sign of gemini during its ret retrograde phase so it's basically going to cover the whole month of july when mercury is going to be staying retrograde and uh, now there are two more planets which are at this point of time going retrograde motion and those are saturn and jupiter now saturn is uh, in the sign of uh, sagittarius and jupiter is retrograde in the sign of scorpio now jupiter and mercury are both the enemy planets now jupiter is in the retrograde in the sign of scorpio and mercury is going to retrograde in the sign of cancer both are water signs Cancer as well as Scorpio, both are water signs. So what is going to happen with that? Lots of emotions are involved in this retrograde phase, especially with the Mercury involving in this uh, phase of retrogression. Lots of emotions, movements are going to get triggered. Um, so what basically Mercury uh, represents is moving forward, um, going ahead, uh, keep going on like mundane tasks, like routine work. So these are the things that Mercury represents. So what's going to happen with this um, retrograde is, um, you know, in routine life, lots of things are going to bring the phases of emotion. Um, you need a lot of introspection uh, in that period. So what else? Like um, now there's a lot of uh, backward moving energy involved in this um, time time period. So the retrogression of Mercury is going to begin on July 7th and it's going to last up until July 31st. So as I said before, 25 days, so almost whole month of July. Now with that, there's another thing coming up uh, while Mercury is going to be in the phase of retrogression. Another thing that's going to trigger your emotions and mental stability, um, your mind, your thinking. Um, that is going to be lunar eclipse happening at the same time. I mean, so many things happening. Um, so we should be very, very careful, cautious, moving forward, uh, taking decisions very carefully. So, um, so it's going to kind of the phase of emotional rift. So people are going to be more into the phase of dilemma due to their tussle between the intelligence, intellect, and wisdom, their religious belief. Now, intelligence, intellect, and all those things are um, represented by the planet Mercury. But again, wisdom and your religious beliefs and all that, it's, re it's represented by the planet Jupiter. So now again, as I said, the Jupiter and Mercury are the enemy planets. So in that case, um, you're going to be in big tussle, um, whether to, to think, uh, in a, in a, like, uh, you, from your spiritual aspect, from your, the aspect of your, uh, wisdom inside, or you want to take decisions according to your intellect or your knowledge of the subject. So do, there are two different things. So now, um, another thing, <laughs> it doesn't end at the, uh, lunar eclipse of July 16th and 17th. There's another thing that is involved here in the month of July and that is the con combustion of planet Venus. So, I mean, with this thing happening, like so many things are happening at the same time, not only the Mercury retrograde, but Venus con uh, combustion. So, um, that is another topic, right? So that I will be discussing what is going to do for all the uh, 12 ascendants. So first we would also like to know more about Mercury because we are talking about what kind of impacts uh, this planet is going to bring 
for this whole month of July what kind of changes going to see what kind of decisions you have to make and like you have to make sure that you don't uh, make quick decisions because the retrograde is the phase where it takes you back in time and makes you correct your previous decision that decisions that you have made and uh, <clears throat> this makes you introspect into yourself um, and understand where have you done mistakes in the past and how you can correct it and at the same time um, it involves lots of emotions uh, lots of uh, feelings and um, you know mind games are involved so it, it is the time where you should be very careful about signing any contracts or agreements or any kind of paperwork um, I mean lots of paperwork will be involved in this retrograde phase depending upon like which um, which houses in your birth chart mercury is lording so let's say mercury is the lord of sixth house or tenth house or first house so these uh, re things related to that house will get activated and you might have to take decisions about those uh, particular aspects of your life and uh, so uh, with this uh, you have to be very very careful and just just wait just slow down because now mercury is telling you to just slow down it is saying wait don't take haste decisions because um, this is the fastest moving planet now it, it is the fastest moving planet it it shows your routine things how you keep going on and on and on and on all the times in your life the day pass by the next day comes you are going on and on with your routine things and so now here mercury is saying that i am stopped i am now stationary and going to take a backward motion so you have to be in alignment with my motion right so just stop just wait and uh, then see how things go so now first we also see what what things uh, mercury or the what other things mercury uh, represent so basically mercury is about duplicating things doubling things you know lots of uh, you know like as you as you say like siblings are represented by mercury teammates your office mates your like when you are in a kind of a, uh, in a band team or team of players so these things are represented by mercury and also mercury is a messenger so it is also in a way is trying to bring a message to you now the there's two there are two energies involved in it so one is the energy of cancer the sign of cancer is in a kalpurush kundali it's a it's a sign of your fourth house so the fourth house is all about comforts your your uh, emotions and uh, your uh, mother you know your like all the things like uh, emotional comfort comfort all that thing is uh, represented by the sign of cancer and now uh, mercury is involved with that so i mean lots of uh, you know you have to do a lot of thinking a lot of introspection lo all those things uh, another another uh, thing that mercury represent is like you know work with, that you do with your hands like handcrafts um, you know transferring things exchanging in between things like numbers and counts are considered uh, the uh, as the uh you know something that mercury represents and then also mercury on the negative side can represent like curiosity um gossiping um argumentative communications because communications is what mercury represents so that's what it can represent um that's what you have to be very careful of during this uh, phase of eclipse that uh, your communications are smooth where you do not indulge in any kind of arguments now also when the mercury is going to start retrogression it's going to be in conjunct with the planet mars very close conjunction with mars so by the time like somewhere in the middle somewhere like after 15th of july it's going to get away from the mars and then it's going to get enter, uh, start to enter into the sign of gemini from cancer 
so then it's going to be in its own sign that's when if you are holding on to taking some decisions or something then there would be a time then you will be start to understanding things better so um now also it's also uh represents eagerness as i said curiosity now also commerce trading communication conversation and uh, together coming together because as i said it's it represent doubling multiplying things so like not exactly multiplying but making two out of one so like combining two things together can be also seen like collaboration cooperation with each other and consulting can be one thing um that can be challenging at this point so many people are in the um consulting uh, jobs and uh, they are they doing their own uh, consultation work as well so that is something going to be very challenging at this time now um one thing uh, you can continue to do is like you can um do meditation in because when you talk about introspection how is how can you do this introspection in an easier manner that is by sitting in silence meditating and mercury is the planet that represents that is represented by lord vishnu now if you want to sit and meditate the best mantra you can use while you're meditating like mantra chanting and meditation can be really good help during this retrogression period so the mantra that you can always chant for during this phase of mercury is om namo bhagavate vasudevaya or there's another mantra for lord vishnu you can chant the mantra while you're like either you can chant it louder or you can chant it in your own mind because mer- mer- mercury also represents mind and emotion so like sitting in silence and chanting the mantra within your mind also will help so the other mantra that you can do is hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare so that is the another mantra that you can chant during this period uh, that will really really help you understand the backward going uh, energies and backward going motion and forces that are taking you to the uh, to the past and making you uh, reevaluate things so now also um, you can come across people like cleverly people and people who do discrimination um because uh, mercury when that is involved it also represent discrimination like it is like it is kind of judgmental planet so these are the pla- people you can come across um so again um uh, don't worry about that it is just these things are going to come together to just bring a new awakening into yourself so because mercury is a planet like called buddha buddha planet buddha buddha is um related to awakening awakening your spirituality understanding the purpose so this is a very good time now people with sales marketing and advertising and public relation um you know jobs and like the, the their regular routine jobs or business involve such things um they're going to have a complete uh, new outlook they're going to see uh, see things which they have maybe uh, neglected or uh, ignored or avoided or the things that they were not aware of before that will come on to the surface um now so this is a uh, all about the planet mercury as we talked about this I, i would like to now um talk about one more thing before i go towards all 12 ascendants that how this mercury is going to impact all 12 ascendants during this phase of retrogression i would like to say that mercury is a malefic planet if this planet joins a malefic planet now the um so that means that it's going to uh, the retrogression phase it's already like going to start when it's already conjunct with mars it's going to be very close degree with mars and mars is a malefic planet so it's like do not take hasty decisions because mars is also like uh, also represents fast movement like shocking movements so mercury when it's going to come together with mars which also represent a movement but a regular going forward movement and going now it's going to get retrograde so you have to make sure that mercury like you have to be very aware 
that Mercury is going to act like Mars. So don't, don't take any, any kind of quick, fast decisions. Don't sign any agreements. Just read it. Take time. Sleep with it. Don't any at all just um, make decisions and conclusions for anything. Now let's go to how this Mercury is going to impact um, all 12 ascendants uh, during this retrograde phase when all the other things are happening, when emotions are going to be at their top peak. Um, there's going to be emotional rift going on uh, all over the place with people you are communicating. Remember, they're also going to the same Mercury retrograde phase. So just stay calm. Don't get into um, argumentative communications. Now, another thing. Um, so, well, I, I so with the other thing is like Mars and Mercury can get you into like physical fights too together like the physic the starting phase of the uh, retrogression conjunct with planet malefic planet mars is going to be really hard um, so especially people with like who have lots of aggression and like if the if their mars is not really well placed in their natal chart they should be very very careful about it especially as they are when they are also running mars dasha or antar dasha so they should also be very careful because when uh, Mercury is going to be conjunct, uh, that's when, uh, uh, you know, their Mars is also active at the same time. And Mercury and Mars going to be together, both are acting as Mars. So then when Mercury also at the same time getting malefic because of Mars, and then it also doubles, so then it's going to double the energy of Mars. Okay, so be careful about that. Now, so what it's going to do about Aries Ascendant? Let's go to the 12 Ascendant. So how, what this Mercury retrogrades is going to do about Aries Ascendant? What how, what kind of changes and what kind of things they should be uh, looking into, uh, be careful about? So uh, Mercury is going to be um, in the retrograde phase in their fourth house. And it's going to lull the third and the sixth house. So Mercury lords their third and sixth house. So how it's going to impact? So it's going to bring the agent of the third house as well as the agent of the sixth house into their fourth house. So Mer Mercury is starting their retrograde at the fourth house. So that's what it's going to, how it's going to impact. It's going to um, bring that like um, energy of um, uh, argumentation and, uh, you know, uh, curiosity and like all those things that I that I just mentioned before that kind of energy because the third house also is the uh, is the uh, house of Gemini that's like a represented by planet Mercury itself so the energy of Mercury is going to get uh, you know multiplied in in this phase so the Mercury is going to be uh, going into the, in the fourth house it's going to retrograde it's going to start its retrograde phase with the conjunction of planet Mars. So you should be very careful about how you interact with your mother. Don't get into any kind of argumentations with your ma mother because fourth house represents your mother. Your comfort, comfort of the house, your luxuries, cars and property matters can require, may require you that you need to maybe sign a paper, you're buying a property or you're buying a vehicle. Fourth house also represent vehicles. So those things you should be very careful because at the same time, Mercury here is also um, uh, lording your sixth house for Aries Ascendant people. So um, sixth house is all about debt, problems, conflicts, uh, litigation. So all that energy is also going to enter into your fourth house. I mean, there might be a phase that you have already signed uh, a, a, like a document or something and then you are going back to reconsider it or maybe like you have initiated a deal but then you have to especially in relationship to your property and stuff so you are reconsidering that deal maybe you may end up not going ahead with that deal and breaking it up so those are the things <clears throat> that uh, mercury can make you do also, people uh, for Aries Ascendants, 
um, what you can uh, what can happen is that you like people uh, who are into the business of uh, business and commerce and trade of uh, through the uh, marine areas like some people export and import through the oh, like marine through ships so those people can get uh, start to have some kind of um, um, you know new ventures coming into to them for consideration or they might find problems into their old ventures so they need to be careful too but the, again remember do not take a major decision during this phase okay so this was um, about the Aries Ascendant. Now let's go to Taurus Ascendant. So for Taurus Ascendant people, uh, Mercury is going to be in your third house where it's going to start the phase of retrogression. And it's lauding your second and fifth house. So what's going to happen here now? Mercury is in the third house. Third house is like uh, the house of Gemini and Mercury actually owns that house uh, you know so so the third house uh, Mercury actually it's like a uh, itself represent the third uh, third house so then with that it's the second houses energies and the second houses elements are gonna be um, coming and showing its uh, activities in your third house the fifth house elements are gonna go into the the uh, the agents of the fifth house the things that are represented by fifth house are like creativity your personality your charm your political uh, abilities your children so these things actually um, can mercury can take you to a place like position uh, when it's uh, it's uh, retrograding in the third house to make you think that uh, where you are able to um, gain through this retrogression of uh, Mercury by using the agents of fifth house like let's say you are an actor so fifth house also represents actors so Mercury is gonna say well these are your uh, abilities these are your qualities and you need to think about it how you're gonna utilize it how you're gonna utilize your political abilities uh, are you going to like if you're um, thinking to be a politician like how you what you, what right steps you need to take like thinking lots of thinking lots of emotions is involved so that's what uh, mercury is going to do so at the same time fifth the third house is 11th from the fifth house so it will show you the path to make gains in life through your creative abilities your children how you can make your children be gainful towards you let's say you uh, your children are looking to get admission for some uh, you know course or some kind of uh, education field and then mercury is going to really make you think well okay well you don't want your children to be in the in this field of maybe an artist or a musician or other uh, or a photographer but um but then but you want them to be be an engineer or a doctor but that's when mercury is going to come and say well think just think don't be emotional about it so that's when your you you can make your children do the do what they want to do in their life and then that will also be able to uh, you know strengthen your relationship with your children now also as i said before for taurus ascendant second house is also involved so again with fifth and second lots of family energy is involved now because children are from fifth house and second house represents your family so it's kind of a period which might end up in a ultimate gain of the family so uh, for taurus ascendant it's going to be really good um, phase of retrogression mercury retrogression if they are able to understand what the planet mercury is trying to show show them what what the planet mercury is trying to teach them because um, not only jupiter is a teacher buddha the mercury is also a teacher so it brings you knowledge about things you learn things which you were not aware of before so now the next ascendant we are going to talk about is gemini so here the mercury is in your second house and 
it's going to be retrograde in this starting from second house it will be retrograde and going to your first house so it's connected with your family and yourself here and about your knowledge your it's gonna if it be talking about your knowledge your um your uh, banking your finances your uh, you know uh, whatever kind of uh, family together the family's uh, lineage it's going to talk about so and here the met retrograde is in the second house and mercury here lords your first and the fourth house okay for for gemini ascendants so with that now as i said before it's first of all it's going to be retrograding back to the um, uh, from starting from the second house it's going to go towards the first house in the retrograde motion but also it it lords your first house so lots of things with you and your family can make you think about how things are going in between you and your family how the relationships are going um like the financial the joint financial assets of yourself and the family can be a question at this time and uh, you would like to together maybe make decisions about how to do investments because second house also represents um you know family investments you know so that's one thing and then the fourth house now again the you might be able to think about how to take take the correct decisions about your family assets your fam uh, family's finances and that can bring about the overall comforts in your life overall with you and your family how things are going to combine together and uh, give you fruitful results coming in the future so that's something you can uh, you should be uh, taking into consideration but again um, it involves fourth house so you might uh, it, there might be a question of uh, the properties and uh, you know assets of the family together so you have to uh, you might have to take decisions about it and again Mer Mer uh, here in the sign of gemini mercury doubles so again it might that you might have to either split or uh, join the family assets together so um lots of physical energy will be involved here because it um, mercury represents your first house you will feel that uh, energy physical energy in will involved you you feel little drained about taking actions moving forward because the mercury's energy is going backward now you have but you have to every day you, you are dealing with a new situation you have to move forward with that now also uh, take care of about your like your uh, own like talking and communications that might also that might also drain you at this time so just take good care of yourself um drink lots of water because uh, you need as i said the it's going to be in the sign of um cancer so it's it involves water element because it's taking your energy you need to uh, make sure that you don't feel drained so that is something you can do uh during this phase and of course uh, it's it involves yourself fourth house just sit and meditate and gain your energies back now for cancer ascendants mercury is going to be in its in the first house itself and it lords your 12th house and the third house so it's going to basically um in the sign of cancer it's like lots of things which are related with mercury retrograde here is to do with your comforts of life your your um you know properties your um how like you are able to take different major decisions in regards to your assets your regards to your property your vehicles and uh, uh you know emotions emotions are very much involved here um any any decisions um you are you have to take um you are so much thinking about it so decision making is something like going to be very very big challenge here at the same time now uh for it's it also involves the first house and the 12th house now the agents of the 12th house going to enter the first house so it's going to be like i can say like it's going to magnify the experience you're going to have 
in your mind, in your brain, in the level of the introspection, in the level of spirituality, in the areas of meditation, in the area of like understanding life on a different astral level, in a different cosmic level. So you're going to have some kind of uh, um, what I would say is like you would get some kind of messages because mercury involves messaging now we where you will get those messages from like from a different dimension right um from a like a different uh like lives we are going on different lives so the spirit guides can guide you like send you messages so where we as we say like our in 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 indian culture we we call it like pitra like your ancestor who are no more in this world so you can have some some dreams about how you should move forward so those are the message messages you should be considering but be very careful it depends like whether those ancestors are sending you the right message or not like that that's something you should be very careful like from a different zone if you're different astral level if you're receiving those messages like in your subconscious you should be very careful of that and taking decisions about yourself because mercury is in the first house it might give your like drain your energy levels it might um, make you think what's happening like uh, you have never had such experiences before um so your your kind of psychic abilities may be like different you will feel the energy completely different at this time meditation is the best thing at this time for cancer ascendance um again it's gonna also uh as it's lording the third house so um something to do with your um younger siblings um may concern you something to do with your team members may concern you so be very careful about these things okay so again as i said meditation is the best thing or and the mantra for meditation is amazing uh, you can simply chant om namo bhagavate vasudevaya or again you can chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare so this mantra is going to show you the direction the right direction that you should take and wait for uh, before you make any decisions let this retrogression period pass and then take the decisions now for leo ascendance mercury is in your 12th house and it lords your 11th and 2nd house so for 11th and 2nd house it's going to be basically um like like a mixed period so what i would say the lord of 11th is going in the 12th house so this again involves a lot of energy like to do with like you will feel kind of solitude we will feel that you are disconnected from the your the friend circle your uh, organizations that you are involved in so you will feel kind of um detached from the from those um places or for with that kind of uh, uh, you know circle you that you have uh, and also you will you might not be very much interested in your financials at this point you would be very care you might get really careless about your finances so this is the time you have to be very careful um, don't sign anything which relates to your finances um, don't uh, sign anything that that makes you like you know your your spending money anywhere or um, if the if you have to receive money from someone that do not agree at at any amount at this point of time so just wait and see like uh, get the message the right message as mercury is trying to give you a message and also the um here the finances of yourself and the finances of family can be an issue so just as i said just be very careful don't take hasty decisions so second house here involves your speech and all that thing so you might not feel like talking too much you would like to stay in silence at this time so it will actually also be beneficial as i said mercury is retrograde it is it is trying to say just slow down wait just go back before you speak before you say anything just think 
so these are the things you should be careful of and uh, it is also uh, you know if you do like prayers and uh, kind of uh, you know meditations that's going to really help at this point of time so this is um, for leo ascendants um, this is the mercury it's going to do and it's going to bring a spiritual guidance towards you so if you are like person who likes to meditate and who, who likes to understand a different phases of different phase of life like the different side of life um, so that is something um, you can uh, try to gain during this period now for Virgo ascendants Mercury is in your 11th house and it's it lords your 10th and the first house so for Virgo ascendants I would say it's gonna be kind of really really very amazing period because mercury is the lord of first house and it's in the 10th house and it's also the lord of the uh, it's in the 11th house and it's also the lord of 10th house but again now the how much we feel that it's going to be really really amazing period it's only if you do not act hurriedly in this time you just very very carefully just think what you're going to do i know emo it's going to be lots of emotions involved because the first house is there and mercury is there and cancer energy of water sign is there a lot of things are happening uh, moon eclipse is going to come jupiter is, is retrograde i mean so many uh, things that are causing um you to have like your mental breakdown actually <laughs> but um if you think wisely at this time if you take right decisions about your business activities about your job activities about your career it might make you think about your career now are you in the right uh, career field are you doing what you should be doing um, is your karma to do the business or to do the job uh, what actually you want to do it will really make you think like well maybe you might feel oh i'm not satisfied with what i'm doing i might need, need to change the career so that's what mercury uh from uh, in the 11th house may do because it is lording the 10th house and the first house it's like it's it, it, it completely involves yourself your social you know personality your your own personality people how people understand you in the society that's going to really be a very challenging period but after you uh, pass this phase it's going to make bring you a phase of phase of stability towards the time when it's going to actually um uh when it's going to actually start to uh, be into direct motion on after july 31st so now it also involves gains and goals of life so again as i said it's completely um, involving your personality um, your career your position in the society how people understand you as a person how people perceive you as a person so these are the things that are going to be um, getting triggered during mercury retrograde for virgo ascendance let's go to libra ascendance <clears throat> now for libra ascendants mercury is in the 10th house retrograde so the it the retrograde phase is in starting from the 10th house going towards the 9th house and it also lords mercury is lording here the 9th house and 12th house for libra ascendants so here again it's going to be lots of religious it's going to be lots of spiritual activity involved lots of dharma involved so you might have to take the decisions about your career about your profession about your public persona per public image you have to uh, take you might have to think about it in in the from the point of view of your spiritual beliefs your religious beliefs and you might feel that you you need to bring together the energies of uh, the uh, spiritual guidance like the subconscious minds into the 10th house um, so you might be taking some decisions um, through the understanding of religion you would be doing the taking the right steps mercury here is trying to teach you that you need to now wait and see what how you've been taking the decisions so far do this do those decisions involve your religious views 
did did it involve your spirituality did it involve the righteousness in life were you taking the right steps all the time it's going to make you wait and think about it in your and it it it's going to give you a lot of emotional turbulence uh, you might uh, be thinking well maybe my decisions before were not correct maybe i should have taken more right decisions more righteous decisions for everybody's good and uh, again here the spiritual guidance is going to be their spirits and then the ancestral guidance will be there uh, from your subconscious you will be getting those messages um, to change the way you have been um, you know conducting yourself in your career and in, in your business so uh, again no need to take um, decision very quick very fast just wait and watch and understand the message that mercury is trying to give you okay so now for libra uh, so we have done the libra ascendants now let's go to the scorpio ascendants now here mercury is going to be starting its retrograde motion from the ninth house and it lords your eighth house and eleventh house now here lots of hidden energies involved lots of uh, you know strange like um, mysterious facts unexpected things are involved here sudden changes will are involved here because it lords your eighth house and also it it lords your 11th house so from the 11th house it's going to go to the 9th house so there is there is of course um a, a, an element of gain is involved benefits profits um fulfillment of wishes because first of all mercury is in the 9th house and it's lording the 11th house so 11th house is the house of gains fulfillment of wishes and desires your social contacts your your uh, friend circle your elder brother so it's the 11th from 11th uh, actually is the gain of gains like you're going to make double triple gains because mercury is going to increase your gains but then mercury is trying to tell you give you a message here that wait i am going to tell you how you're going to have better um, gains in life how what you should you need to be doing to achieve better things how what what you've been doing before is actually not giving you what you actually deserve so that's what uh, mercury is going to teach you so you need to really hear the voice of mercury what it's trying to give what kind of message is trying to give you in your subconscious so also as i said the eighth house energy is involved so sudden things might happen which may trigger these kind of changes in your life i mean um something to do i mean if you're married you there might be some changes some some gains through the in-laws might happen the joint family assets may be also at this at this time may increase but at the same time be very careful because the energy of 8th house is also going into the 9th house with mercury that's going to also make you think um whether what you are doing uh is actually also it, if it's giving you gains and if it's fulfilling your wishes and desires but are they also the right things that you're doing so just think about what kind of message mercury is giving at this time just be very open just stay calm um meditate um and then try to understand the message of mercury okay now for sagittarius ascendants here mercury is going to retrograde in your 8th house and it lords your 7th house and 10th house so again here lots of energy lots of energy related to your 7th house 10th house your public image your public interactions dealing with public your how what is your image and position in public that's going to be a little challenging time here because mercury is entering your 8th house so the whole kind of like relationship with your spouse you might feel that there is like you might come at a point where you might not like um you know the ideas of each other with your spouse or uh, the public that you interact with you might have your own completely different kind of opinion uh, the diff completely different kind of mindset 
um, that's what mercury is going to do here and uh, it's going to also completely transform transform your relationship with your spouse with the people you interact maybe with your boss because it's lording the 10th house it also may transform you into completely into a different person in terms of what you have been doing and what kind of career you have been pursuing you might completely say well you are an IT person well I want to be an artist now I don't want to do uh, you know IT anymore or I want to I, I like to play guitar so I'm gonna be a musician so these are the things or it can go vice versa so these are the things you should be uh, you know coming across during this retrograde phase um, you might discover things new things about your profession which you were not be, uh, aware of before you might discover new things about your your partner your spouse so these are the things that mercury going to be uh, going into the eighth house starting the retrogression from the eighth house and then the retrogression starting from the eighth house is going to go to the seventh house so again it's going to really bring a huge turbulence it may bring a turbulence into your relationship with your spouse with public people around um, either they might not be able to understand you or you don't understand their point of view their perspective so again because it involves like here the lo lot of uh, uh, public energy is involved lot of people energies involved here so um, just be careful not to get into, into any kind of argumentation like if you feel that the, there's going to be a start of argumentation just avoid it just take a break so these are the, the some tips for the Sagittarius ascendants now let's go to Capricorn ascendants for Capricorn ascendants Mercury is going to start its retrogation in seventh house and going towards the sixth house and it lords the sixth and the ninth house here it talks about again it's it is talking about the relationship the contracts the I mean because the it's it might be a case where um, you know where there's already a, like a tussle going on within relationships you are not happy with your spouse you're not happy with your partner and that might be a triggering point here that can take you towards the side of divorce but again as I said it's the time when mercury is testing you it's the time when mercury is trying to see say well don't take decisions quickly things might change it's just a phase don't take any kind of decision so fast so here um, you would be thinking well well I'm not going I'm not having any kind of equality in the relationship my things are not considered in the in this relationship there's no fairness in the relationship there's always quarrels and talking about distribution and deal making and all those things but um, and you might think well these are not the things that should be talked about in in a relationship so that's something mercury is telling you well what you're thinking may be right but don't take any decisions at this point okay so but again at the same time people who are actually waiting to get divorced might actually get into a position where they might end into signing like divorce documents fast quickly suddenly that thing might happen um, things taking going to past and like making you go into making decisions about uh, splitting up right but again it's there's a ninth house energy is also involved ninth house agents are um, wisdom knowledge your religious and spiritual views your fathers your gurus so father is also involved here so these agents might help you go through this phase of difficult phase of um, making a decision about uh, how you you are able to bring about the energy in a positive manner so these are the things you should be careful of how, about for Capricorn ascendance now for Aquarius ascendance Mercury is in the sixth house retrograding starting its retrograde from the sixth house going towards the fifth house and it lords the fifth house and the eighth house now here again the energy here is 
um, sixth house and eighth house is involved so again the energy of uh, sudden changes sudden movements shocking revelations um, so these things um, can be the part of this uh, retrograde phase don't lose your calm stay calm I know like these kind of things make you really emotional and make you think and make you take decisions fast um, get you into arguments like again the fifth house is like a, you might get to into arguments with your children um, mercury is in the sixth house it also mercury also by the sign of virgo virgo in kalpurush kundli mercury um, you know lords the sixth house so now both the energies of fifth and sixth house going to combine together so uh, if you are uh, like into a, into politics if you are a a a actor if you are like in into in, in an industry like if you are like it's it's about your charm it's about your public persona at the same time so be very careful also if you are trying to invest in stock market gambling don't just completely avoid it at this time you you may lose your your uh, you know finances your wealth at this time whatever you invest so this is not the right time to make financial investments or especially gambling or um, kind of uh, lotteries people some do some people do lotteries and in investing in stock market uh, investing in unit link plans like the mutual funds so don't invest in those things at this time just wait let the July 31st pass by so because um, you don't want to have certain experiences shocking experiences um, stock markets can go up and down um, for Aquarius ascendants your whatever your investments in stocks are may go really up and down at this point so be very careful for that and just don't take any quick decisions now so for Pisces ascendants um, this is going to be um, the fifth house the fourth house and the seventh house involvement so Mercury is going to start its retrogression from the fifth house going backwards toward the fourth house and uh, mercury lords your fourth house and seventh house so here um the energy of the agents of seventh house are involved here and um the seventh house lord is going into your fifth house so there might be a situation where you and your spouse may make some kind of uh, uh, investments or like you may kind of investment you make some investments in stocks in in shares uh, in mutual funds um, and then that might be gainful but you should be very careful don't make those decisions about those investments if those were the investments um, in in stocks you have made in 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 the past time mercury can bring about some kind of period of turbulation like the stock market can go up and down or the prices of the stocks that you have invested in together with your spouse might or your or maybe you in partnership you have uh, combined like together have invested in stocks or shares or mutual funds uh, there might be big investments and mercury is going to bring a period of like shaky movement like what's happening here um, you know quite a lot of turbulation prices of stocks may go up and down whatever you are, you have invested in so these things are going to be a period of concern this might make you feel that you have to quickly make decision about um, you know maybe selling those stocks if the if this value of the stocks are going down you might think well let me sell it off but then remember here the mercury is also telling you wait do not make fast quick decisions and it also involves it might also involve the um, your investments about your home your property because again fourth house is involved here you might together with your um, like it might this phase might uh, take away your peace of mind because again this is a period of emotions your mental thinking you, it will make you think a lot about um, your life stability of life so don't take any quick decisions at this point of time and if you are into like uh, it will it will actually affect your um, 
you know career it might affect your career like if you are like your spouse might be looking into getting into some kind of uh, uh, public career like some kind of uh, activity related to your art art arts uh, the spouse wants to be an artist or an actor so there might be a tussle between you and your spouse at this time so if that's the thing don't get into any arguments with your partner just me- let them know ask them to wait for just like these 20 to 25 days and i mean the period of uh, retrogression is going to start from your fifth house going towards your fourth house so these things like going to affect your comfort within the house so and uh, you know and if you are uh, in a love or romance relationship uh, this is the time that may ask you to either uh, take time before you can maybe you can turn it in, into a marriage relationship but don't make any quick decisions you should give it some time so that is what mercury retrogression here is trying to tell the pisces ascendants this is the message of mercury for pisces ascendants so guys i hope you liked my video of mercury retrograde and i will be making more videos about lunar eclipse um it's a partial lunar eclipse i will i will be talking about that as well uh, pretty soon and there are other topics that i discussed in the beginning so i will be making videos on that all right so see you again next time bye now